So let's look at some chord shapes and inversions on the piano. So just as a reminder, a chord inversion, just like with any inversion, is when we take the normal order, we keep the pitches the same, but we rearrange the notes. We put them in a different shape. So for example, our C major chord is C, and then four half steps up to E, and then three half steps up to G. C, E, G. If I were to invert that shape, I would move the uh, notes to be a different arrangement. So instead of C, E, G, it might be E, G, C. This is what we call the first inversion, where the bottom note is now moved up and the middle of the chord, the third of the chord, is now on bottom. Root position, first inversion. Then our second inversion takes the fifth of the chord, in this case G, and puts that on bottom. So in our root position, we have a third and a fifth. Then in first inversion, there's still a third here, but now this has been jumped up to make a sixth. It's the same as my C on bottom, it's just been moved up an octave. And then in my second inversion, now I have a fourth and a sixth. But in all three of these, it's C, E, G, C, E, G, C, E, G. Same pitches, just rearranged. And again, this bottom one, where the root of the chord is the lowest note, is what we call first, or is what we call root position. And then when the third is on bottom, we call that first inversion. And when the fifth is on bottom, we call that second inversion. Root position, first inversion, second inversion. We also can label them by their numbers. The root doesn't need any extra numbers. The third, or the first inversion where the third is on bottom now has a sixth in it that wasn't there before. That's a sixth. And the second inversion has a sixth and a four. So we would call this one six four. No numbers, six, six four, or C major, C major 6, C major 6, 4. So again, with all of these, they're referring to which note is now on the bottom. If the root is on bottom, it's root position. If something else is on bottom, it'll have another number expressing what the new distance of intervals in the chord are. But with all of these chords, the pitches that make up the chord, the notes that give it its letter identification, in this case, the C major chord, those pitches stay the same, no matter where they've been moved around. That's the basic idea of chord inversions.